Hi everyone, welcome to this week's video. It's been a long time since we have uploaded videos. Second year school has been so busy. Again, we just want to thank you guys for still watching our videos and leaving likes and comments to our previous video. We really miss making videos for you guys and it's nice chatting with you guys in the comment section as well. So a month ago, we have received a comment about admissions and a question about what our extracurriculars were like and what our average was entering the program. We decided to make a video about admissions and I have also invited two guests to have different perspectives on the experiences as well. I hope you guys enjoy the episodes and yeah! So I came from a high school in Ontario. Uh, my high school was a part of the York Region District School Board. In grade 12, I took all the science courses, including chemistry, biology, and physics, and I took two math. I took both calculus and advanced functions. I did not take data management, but I also took, I think, challenging change. And also um, we had a mixed psychology, sociology, and anthropology course. So I really enjoyed those. I believe that for our program, you need to have biology and chemistry and also one of the two math that I just mentioned and other two additional courses. At that time, I was really strong in um, biology. Um, I think most of my courses are above 90. I would say that my average was, um, I think, 90 and then maybe a little bit more. That's my mark coming into the program. But at the time that I applied, which was two years ago, we didn't need to write a personal statement essay. So extracurricular, I don't think they knew what extracurriculars I did, but I was the founder of Dance Club in my school. And I was also a part of Canadian Cancer Society. And I was part of the committee who ran Relay for Life. Overall, I just did stuff that I really enjoy doing took courses that I liked a lot. I did not get an early acceptance, but I think I received my offer around March. Um, maybe a bit earlier, maybe a bit later. But I don't really remember. Hi, so I'm Haley, and I'm currently a first year in the Bachelor of Health Sciences at Queen's. So the admission process it wasn't too bad. I also applied for the Q Arms program, so that made a large difference because I was going through that application process as well. I didn't make it to the end, but I made it to the interview process for that. But I did write the supplementary, the PSE, at the time, and I think that really helped with my application because I don't feel like my average was that great. I did the IB program in Norway, actually, and my grades were not all sevens out of sevens. They were more like fives and six. Um, which aren't necessarily the best, um, and they're definitely not 90s, but I think maybe the conversion rate for IB to Ontario grades definitely helped as well, um, and that definitely probably helped my application, but I think my PSE had a lot to do with it, and I just explained how passionate I was about healthcare and just all the things I had been doing in Norway. I was on the board. Um, I was a member of the board in Norway on my student council as well, so that really helped my application as well. The classes I took in high school, mainly in IB, I did things like uh, higher level biology, chemistry, and history. And then I did standard level math, um, Norwegian B, and English literature. And then in just regular high school in Calgary, I did um, chemistry to the grade 12 level. So it'd be like chem 20, chem 30. Um, I did bio 20. Um, math 20 just up until those grade 11 classes um if i had stayed there i would have done obviously bio 30 and i probably also would have done physics 20 and physics 30 just so i had all my sciences but i didn't get that chance because i went to norway the summer between um my first year of ib and my second year of ib i did a lot actually so i went and applied to a program at yale called the yale young global scholars so yygs um, and I did their applied science and engineering program. So it wasn't just engineering, but it had a lot to do with like sciences and healthcare as well. And that was a two week program that I spent at Yale. 
and that was a really cool experience. And along with that, I also did a pre-med program at Washington University in St. Louis in Missouri in the US as well. And that was such a beautiful um, experience because I got to learn so much about medicine, we got to learn about ethics, we did dissections, we did um, lab experiments with bacteria, we did a whole bunch of crazy things and I learned so much. We got to talk to doctors, we went to an organ, like the Mid-America Transplant Center. Um, it was amazing and it was such a great way to learn about the healthcare field. And I think that also definitely maybe helped with my applications as well, but it also just allowed me to see if medicine was something that I wanted to continue to pursue and if a science degree was something I wanted to go into and start applying for. So that's why I, I recommend doing it maybe between grade 11 and 12, so then you know what you want to apply for, for grade, like while you're in grade 12. The admission process was pretty simple when I applied. All I did really was apply through OUAC. Um, I'm in my second year of the program and my cohort didn't have the supplementary essay to complete, so I can't speak to that, but I know that it is now a mandatory application, so make sure to get those in on time. For course selection in grade 11, I took the three sciences, so bio, chem, physics. I took English, extended French. I was in an extended French program, so I had to take a certain number of high school credits in French. Um, functions, financial accounting, and personal fitness. And then in grade 12, I took the three sciences, advanced functions, calculus and vectors, English, and extended French. A lot of people wonder if they should take physics in high school and or university. I personally enjoyed it in high school, so I decided to take it um, in university as well, like the introduction physics course. It's good preparation for the MCAT if you're planning to write it, but it's definitely not necessary to take physics. Finally, I would say to aim for an average in the mid 90s to be competitive, but if your marks are in the lower 90s, your essay can help boost your application, so I would still encourage everyone to apply.